It's been too long. We got to talk about some true first. Oh my gosh, finally. It's like we have time to do it, but we don't have time to do it, but we're making time to do a true first video brought to you by the friendly folks over at CBSI, comicbookinvest.com. Absolutely. We do appreciate them for putting together so much awesome comic book content and the writer Topher for assembling this fun article he puts together of the true first appearances. Just some like fun key moments in comic books that may give you something to think Think about when you're deciding what comics you want to add to your hunt list. Yep. And I got a fun list of comic books to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is the big change here over this last month. We found out a little update about these Walmart exclusive comic books. I am so excited, truthfully. If you've been watching the CBSI Hot 10 list, you have heard me complain about these. These Walmart books have been Walmart exclusives, and you could only get them at Walmart. Some Walmarts in some regions, some places don't get them, don't open them, don't stock them, don't care about them, don't want comic books, and you can't find them. Can't, they may even be there, but the employees don't even know what, like, where they are or if they even exist. I have a couple people who come into my shop who gloat about the fact that they know the Walmarts that carry them, and they would go in and buy 10 copies to list them on eBay. Um, I just wanted to read the darn stories. I'd like to know what's going There's on. There's new stories in there. There are. There's new stories, new unreleased. So the fact that... All of a sudden, Walmart is no longer going to be doing these books, right. and we're apparently going to be seeing collections. Give us some information, Tom. Okay, so we have a tweet by Ryan Higgins, who has a podcast where he talks about comic books and like uh, newsy type stuff. Sure. But he's got a couple inside information types of people okay. in, in his group here. But this is what he tweeted. He said, the Walmart... Longer arcs will be reprinted as graphic novels that comic stores will be getting later this year. Shorter stories will be reprinted in some upcoming 100-page specials. Fantastic. So DC's making a change here. They're discontinuing, but they're going to be putting these stories and saving them and putting them in a different form to be sold on a more massive scale, probably at shops like your own. Which would be fantastic, because if they give us an opportunity to order a trade paperback or some type of volume or some type of graphic novel that collects these stories... I know there are people that will want to buy them. This will sell, and it gives them a wider market. Yes, there are way more Walmarts in the country than there are comic book stores, but there are fewer people going to Walmart to buy comic books than there are to go and buy a light bulb or a space heater or cheap diapers. You know, Absolutely. There's another tweet here that says, the Walmart line is ending and replaced with 100-page specials available everywhere 48 pages of new material the rest being classic material no price given so there's gonna be a reduction in additions but that's all we know so far and right. i felt like it'd be a good time now that we can reflect because they're not making more of these they're going to no. be changing the style so officially these exclusives are exclusives they were marketed to kids like some other comic books that i don't want to mention that were marketed to kids that have spiked those particular books because mm -hmm. of key appearances right but also because it makes it really hard to find high grade copies of let's chat about some of these exclusives real quick that have popped up on our radar we have of course the aforementioned superman Issue number seven, Walmart exclusive. Why is that popping? Well, it's the depiction of death type things and torture type things for Lois Lane. This is still going for 15 to 20, and it's been going for 15 to 20 strong for a couple months now. This book is not going anywhere, and the fact that they just announced they're discontinuing these, these may even spike more. Doesn't matter if they're getting reprinted, because again, true first list. This is the first appearance of this. This is the first edition of this. This is the first time we've seen this, and completionists are going to want the first appearance of it. Whether you're a Superman fan or whether you're just interested in collecting comic books that made like mainstream media, yeah. this is one that's going to be on people's list. Also, Swamp Thing number one. I'm not talking about the Halloween special that was awesome, that had some Neil Adams goodness in it, mm. really cool cover. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the other Swamp Thing number oh one that featured the first appearance of Charman. This issue is going for between $10 and $15 as well. And with the Swamp Thing show that's slated for later this year, there are already speculators that think that this book may be one that we all should have had on our list. Wow. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to take a quick trip over to Target, a different franchise who also introduced some exclusive comic books 
via DC Publishing. We mm-hmm. have DC Primal Age Target exclusive, still going for between $15 and $20. The main reason why I wanted to bring this up, aside from the fact that it's still selling pretty strong, the toys that they've released are popping like crazy. The Black Manta one is Topher's favorite. And last but not least, the dang box that those comic books come in. Those are going for right around $20. So keep in mind, it's not just the comic books. It's the whole set that it comes with. And if you're kind enough to your Walmart employees, they may let you just take the box once it's empty. Right. All right. Now, that's the little exclusives I wanted to just touch base on because it's been just I've been seeing it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I've been talking about it a lot. And now that it's kind of come to an end, I felt like, you know, we had to do it here on the True First video because these are the True First, like real Walmart exclusive right. Target exclusive comic books that have really made the scene and made us flash. But I want to talk about another media production that caused a really, really big splash. I'm talking Breaking Bad. Talk about Walter White. I'm talking about a sequel to the show that's over that's going to be led by. Okay. So I was unaware of this until you brought this to my attention tonight. Um, This is apparently a sequel, Breaking Bad, which is going to be led by Aaron Paul, who plays Jesse Pinkman. Now, it's been so long since Breaking Bad, I no longer think about Aaron Paul as Jesse Pinkman. I think about Aaron Paul as. Your cousin, Todd Garcia, from the BoJack Horseman show. Oh, okay. (laughs) He is so good on that. Like, quite honestly, if you watch BoJack Horseman and you listen to Will Arnett as the best Batman ever being BoJack Horseman, and you listen to his lifelong hetero life mate, friend, and couch surfing compatriot, um, awesome. Aaron Paul is fantastic, great voice acting, great characters, very, very cool stuff. So it's nice to see them doing this, but I don't know if this is going to hit. The interesting thing that we heard about this is that it was going to be released directly to Netflix. That's right. They get the first crack at it. Before AMC, and keep in mind that AMC was, I mean, really revitalized by Breaking Bad being on there. I mean, this is before Walking Dead. Yeah, this is like start this with the success of this show that led to them taking risks like Walking Dead. Right. So it's interesting to see that this is going to be going back onto the screen. Who knows what they're going to try to pull with this? Like, I mean, are we going to see Walter White come come back? Like, are they going to try to? I think break he's the pretty internet? dead. But hey, maybe... we never saw the body. No, we totally saw the body. Nah. We never, we never saw the body yeah, all the way. So yeah, we do. was like, is it flames? But you no, know, just, well, Michael Myers, the whole damn thing. It wasn't him in the first place. It was his twin brother. All right, so something like that. You know, oh just go, just retcon the whole thing. But you know what? Breaking Bad. Why are we talking about this? Because, <laughs> well, little did we know, and I'm sure a lot of people, news to the community, Breaking Bad had a comic book line. Um, all bad things. This was a convention exclusive. It was limited. But you know what? It's a comic book. It's the first comic book form that features Walter White, that features Jesse Pinkman. And you know what? I'm excited to see this movie. I'll watch it. All right. So another group of comic books that I want to talk about. This all kind of stemmed from the fact that over this last few months, we've been chatting about the effects of certain movies on the comic book market. You have things like Captain Marvel that's causing a stir with so many different titles. Mm. Another movie surprising a lot of us that caused a stir caused a lot of comic books to spike was spider-man into the spider-verse right. like every week we were coming to the mic with like another variant another key appearance mm-hmm. this random one everything Heck, spider-gwen spider-man yep. 2099 is spiking right now like what's right. going on so i wanted to chat about some spikes in the market that you know what I think that we knew was going to happen, but we didn't know to what extent. I'm talking about the anthropomorphic spider ham. Let's get into it. There are so many anthropomorphs that want to be wearing spider suits, and some of them are pig-related. No, wait, all of them are pig-related. Oh, my God. Okay, so so let's just go through it, because people know about these issues, but I want to just shed some light on someone that they may not know of. So Marvel Tales number one. You know this as... First appearance of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham. And this is a classic. This one has been around for quite some time. And it was, again, Marvel Tales, T-A-I-L-S, as a takeoff on Marvel Tales, T-A-L-E-S. And it was a one-shot, and it was just kind of a cool thing. Now, that book is obviously seeing some gains because this was a hit 
after the movie. I mean, mm-hmm. especially with the kids. Although it was hitting, honestly, about 18 months before the movie even came out. There was no announcement, and it was just all of a sudden seemed to be a little bit more popular. So people do like them, but spiked hard with no. the movie. 9.6 is reaching $150. Like wow. This is a serious character now. And you know what? We need to look at some other characters. Now, what the issue number 20 this is one that a lot of people aren't keeping an eye out for, but now are. This issue is going for $30, and do you know why? No, Tom. It's the first appearance of Pork Grinds. That's right. We're talking about the venomized version of the spider ham. $30 raw? $30 raw. For a what the? Pork Grinds. I, I Honestly, what does are one of those books. What ifs? We'll go into the back issue bin. What if what so, what yeah. does go into the quarter bin? Okay, if you see a what if that spikes, there's a party that goes, uh, okay. I mean, like the era's right. There's a lot of common books, but okay. You know, like the what if Electra hadn't died? That that's a strong twelve dollar book in VF. You oh, know? totally. Well, I mean, even you know, what if Wolverine and Hulk? I mean, there are a that's bunch a of ones. That, you know, the Conan ones we are seeing spiking because of reasons. What the <laughs> is the overproduced, made a million copies in the 1990s, and no one cares until now. And it's thirty oh, dollars. Well, I'm not done, Russ. I'm not done because Uh-oh. what the issue number twenty six? We're going six issues later. Okay. We have Spider Ham twenty ninety nine. No. <laughs> yes, dude. We have Spidey twenty ninety nine. This does not exist. It exists. No, it issue doesn't. Issue number twenty six. This is a fever dream. It's going Tom. for thirty dollars, man. It doesn't just exist. People are like, it, see how far removed this is. Like, it's not just Spidey twenty ninety nine, which is a huge surprise because there's no real reason to think that this is going to be a character that they're going to like lead the next movie with. It was a fun outro to the movie, right? But no. Spider Ham 2099 making the list, but that is not all. We've talked about it before. We have Ultimate Fantastic Four issue number four. This one has actually gone down a little bit in value because the the pig is he's creepy. As cute. He's creepy. Yes, Miles Merhamus is creepy, but he's he exists and people are specking on this book and they're paying for it now. We, we've kind of known a little bit. Some of these are a little bit newer to me as well right. as they are to you. They're very but, new to me, yes. But we're not done here, my okay. friend, <laughs> because I have a couple more. We have Avenging Spider-Man issue number 12. Now, Avenging Spider-Man, we know some keys in this totally. run. Totally, there's a major Captain Marvel keys in this run. I mean, we got the first and second appearance here just a couple issues away, but this particular issue features a splash page that shows a number of Spider-Hams, and we actually see two New spider hams in this one issue. We have the first appearance of the Scarlet Spider Ham. Okay. Yes. Scarlet. That's a clear costume of the Scarlet Spider, as well as an unknown, it looks like symbiote black suit spider ham. So, okay. you know, it's not venomized. Now, we're not talking pork grinds. We're talking about a, like, almost a stealthy looking black suit, standard Secret Wars 8, but if it was a pig, spider ham. I'm not done. Oh, oh, I'm not done, Russ. I know. Just, I'm, I, just I know. Be done. I know. Oh I God. got one more left for you uh. because I'm not done. Because just an issue later in Avenging Spider-Man issue number thirteen, we have the first appearance of Dead Pork. That's right, Deadpool version of Spider-Ham. Just be ready. Be ready. It's not our. It's not. We can't control this anymore. As comic book enthusiasts, it doesn't. Our opinions don't matter in the community because the kids, the kids are deciding. Russ, if the kids like it in the animation, I don't film, want to be alive anymore. This is what it is. What dead is pork. this? It's dead pork. No, it's dead pork. And what? you know what? I, just... I know what you think about this, Russ. You look like you're about to pass <laughs> out. I want to know what the comic book community thinks. I have a copy of Avenging Spider-Man issue number twelve. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Um, first appearance of Scarlet Spider and the unknown black costume. Pork, <laughs> pork, black costume wearing spider ham. Let us know what you think about this situation in the comment section below, and right. we'll enter you to win this comic book. Yay. Uh, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment down below, sign up for the mystery mail call. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Comic book karma and my brain melted. I guess we're just doing way too much geeking responsibly right now.
comicbookinvest.com. We do appreciate you. Thank you for putting together such awesome lists. It's been a fun <laughs> night. True First is great, man. <laughs> this it, it, is it, ridiculous. It, we just talked about Spider-Man. It's great. And it's, it's great. It, it, it's great. Again, thanks for watching. <laughs> we really appreciate you. Comicbookinvest.com and Comic Book Community, as always. Geek responsibly. Enough said. Thanks so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. We have a comic book subscription service. And if you'd like to join the community where we send you comic books every single month, hit the link in the bio, sign up, and yeah, we'll send you some comic book goodness.